This question definitely has some traps, so I'll try to point them out as we get to them. The actual math is not that complicated, it's just more annoying. We, we need to be able to take these 803 votes and kind of extrapolate them out to this uh, the actual vote, which would be 6,424. So first and foremost, a big trap answer is uh, choice A. That would just be from subtracting 483 from 320. That's way too easy. This is the second hardest question on the test, supposedly. So it's not going to be like a subtraction of two numbers. Plus, you didn't even factor in the 6,424. So at the very least, just cross that out. You know, even if you have no idea how to do it, that that's going to be way wrong. So what we really want to do is try to use uh, proportions to figure out what the actual value of the vote totals would be. So let's let's do Angel since he's the one who we're kind of focused on. So he has 483 votes out of the 803 votes cast in this poll. So I want to know, okay, how many votes would he actually get of the 6,424? So this is a simple ratio. There's no real complication here. We're just going to kind of cross multiply and divide. So what I would do here is just multiply both sides by 6424. And then here my calculator is going to take over. So I'm going to do 6424 times 483. And that's 3,102,792, which we're going to divide by 803 to get that x is 3,864. And we can see where trap answer number two comes in. Right, that's angels' votes, angels' votes, but we don't want angels' votes. According to the poll, by how many votes would Angel Cruz be expected to win? So we need to know how many votes he wins by. So here you might just be able to estimate. Um, if we wanted to do it more thoroughly, what I would do here is I would take my 6,424 votes, subtract out angels' votes, 3,864, to get uh, Terry's votes, so 6, 4, 2, 4, minus 3, 8, 6, 4, I'm very nervous about entering this stuff wrong, is 2,560 for Terry, right? And now I can do, getting kind of messy here, I can do some subtraction with these two numbers to see what the difference is, right? So 3,864 minus 2,560 is uh, 1,304, which is choice B, which is the answer. So a lot of arithmetic, um, just proportions and multiplication and subtraction. So a lot of steps um, and a lot of places where we could go wrong. Um, but luckily, um, it's not really in the algebra, I guess. Maybe that's a good thing. I guess there's a little bit with the cross multiplying. But um, especially when we get to the later part of the test, if you get these answers like choice A that feel too easy, then make sure you just cross them out. You know, even if you have no idea what to do, at least guess from something else that, that seems more random to you. It's probably more likely to be right. Um, but also, even if you're doing the right kind of stuff, be careful that you actually answer the question that they're asking, right? Choice C is a big trap because they know you kind of get that X equals moment and your brain has those like, that, like endorphin rush, right? You're, you're like, oh, I, I did it. I solved the question. I, got, I did math, right? So you have to make sure, check back with the question. They like to make you do another thing. Usually that extra thing isn't that hard. It's just you have to remember to do it. So don't lose points on stuff like that. Um, you can get these hard questions. They just take being careful and being patient and being thorough.